In 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 through 18, God's word says this, For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel and the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. I lost my husband in November. His remains are in a box in my living room. They're sitting next to me on an end table. Sometimes as I've sat there, I've wondered, when this event happens and the dead in Christ are raised first, if I'm sitting there at that moment, will I realize that box has just been emptied? And then it goes on from there. After that, we who are still alive and remain will be caught up in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. And I love this next line. Encourage one another with these words. Why is it that this passage that's meant to be an encouragement to God's children has instead become a source of such great dissension and division and straight up meanness? There is no rapture. We can't know the day or the hour. You're going to go to hell for teaching a pre-trib rapture. Those are things I hear on a daily basis. If you're a Christian, I'm your sister. Does it not bother you to hurt my feelings? To call me names and telling me that I'm going to go to hell? I don't understand that. I don't understand that at all. The rapture is the blessed hope of the believer. It's the home going for the bride of Christ prior to God pouring out his wrath on all of those who have rejected Christ. The bride of Christ has not rejected Christ. The wrath for our sins was poured out on the cross. We are not appointed unto wrath. I've been told to shut up and stop teaching about the rapture. While God's word tells us to encourage one another with these words. How has this encouraging event and promise of our homecoming become a source of such great discouragement? Our enemy wants to steal this encouragement and blessed hope. And you might be willing to allow him to steal it from you, but he's not going to steal it from me. Because I know the truth of God's word. And no matter what you call me or what you say about me, the rapture precedes the tribulation.